Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob, and welcome back to another episode of the Athletics Franchise here on MLB The Show 24 as we get into the final two weeks of the regular season here we're at home against the 68-82 and 82 Boston Red Sox. We'll be playing some different players in the lineup today, try to get some scouting into potentially guys who can make an impact next season. So if you're excited for this one, make sure you drop a like, you subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. We'll throw our ace Paul Blackburn on the mound today. He's a free agent after this year. We did not trade him at the deadline. Maybe some interest in bringing him back next year. Who knows? So this is kind of a big stretch for him as he'll begin the day against Tyler O'Neill, who will slap this one into the right center gap. That'll roll up against the wall for a leadoff double. So Red Sox already in business. That'll bring up Sedan and Rafaela up next. And with a 1-2 pitch, he will also poke this one into right center gap, and it'll get down. Brown will cut it off, but it'll be back-to-back -back doubles. Red Sox already lead 1-0. Both those hits are all pitches that, honestly, were pretty good pitches. They just resulted in two doubles. Rafael Devers now with the dish will be the first out of the game as the runner will move to third. And we'll take a look at Boston's lineup. Already seen the first three. Next up, we'll see Masataka Yoshida in left. Blaze Jordan at first. Nick York at second. Willier Abreu in center field. Kyle Teal in the catcher position. And Edison Polino at short. A lot of young guns in the second half of this Red Sox lineup. We'll see how they do today. Yoshida up next, 0-2, gets jammed on what would have been a ball, but he's going to end up scoring the run off of the sacrifice, it looks like. So 2-0 Red Sox for Blaze Jordan, and he will fly out to right. But the Bo Sox push across two early ones. On the mound for them will be Lucas Giolito with 3.33 ERA through his 22 starts. A one-time top prospect in baseball. Galloff leads off for the A's, and he's going to go down swinging for the first out of the aim for the Athletics. Ryan Nota up next, first pitch to him, and he's going to poke this one into left field. Nice in and out swing, as that's the first hit for the Athletics. Then we have Jordan Diaz hitting third as he gets a fastball, tries to push it the other way, but that'll be caught out in right field. Easy play for Tyler O'Neill. We'll take a look at the Athletics lineup today. Like I said, some other names getting a chance to start today. We'll see Adam Frazier in the fifth spot. Richie Beach getting the start at shortstop today. Shea Langley is the catcher. Seth Brown in center field. And Miguel Andujar getting a look in right field. Andujar free agent at the end of the season. Here's our all-star Tyler Soderstrom up with a 1-0 pitch. And he's going to sky this one into straightaway center field. And the Athletics will get nothing in their first inning. No top three now. Nine hole hitter Edison Polino will lay down a bunt. And the rookie... From the Dominican Republic will leg out a bunt single. Back to the top of the lineup now. Tyler O'Neill up next. Rips one into right and it'll eat up on Duhar. So that'll be back-to-back -back base hits for the Red Sox. Back in business. Rafael up next. Can't connect on the 12-6. Beautiful pitch there by Paul Blackburn. And that'll bring up Rafael Devers. One of the best hitters in this Red Sox lineup. 1-1 one, one pitch up the middle. Go off with a diving play. But he doesn't get rid of the ball. Definitely could have gotten out there. They're going to rule that an E4 despite the great dive. So now base is loaded. Only one down for Mazataka Yoshida. A chance to open this game up. 0-1. He will bust the bat and it'll get there by Jordan Diaz. I feel like could have given a better effort. And that'll be a 2-RBI single for Yoshida. Red Sox now up 4 to nothing. Blaze Jordan up next. First pitch. Blooper into right. Andujar can't cut it off. He's going to take a tumble. And that's going to allow this to be a bases clearing triple. The Red Sox all of a sudden up six to nothing over the Athletics in an inning that has fallen apart, both pitching and defensively. Nick York will then swing at a pitch in the dirt. Langoliers blocks it. He will be gunned down at first. So now the second out. And we'll bring up Willier Abreu. The 25-year-old from Venezuela who struck out his first at bat will hit this one deep to right field. Andujar is going to go back at the wall and it's gone. A two-run homer for Willier Abreu. How about 8 nothing Red Sox? The sixth home run of the season for Abreu nets the sixth run of the inning for the Bo Sox. 8 nothing. Kyle Teal up next. He will chop this over to first. And finally, this third inning has come to a close. The Athletics now in a big hole. Joe Barlow then get the next inning for the A's. Four innings of work for Paul Blackburn. Another poor start from him. As Barlow will begin by plunking Devers in the butt cheeks. That's a great start, Joe Barlow. 
Yoshida up next gets a pitch, and he's going to hit this one into the gap, and this is definitely trouble. It'll bounce on the warning trap for a ground rule double. Kind of lucky it was that because the runner would have scored. Instead, two in scoring position for Blaze Jordan as the rookie will pop this one up over to Veach, and they won't test him. Nick York up next, grounded over to first. This will be the second out. So Barlow gets two done, and that will actually be his last batter. Mason Miller will come in and release, trying to get the final outs here in the fifth, trying to strand two in scoring position. Can he do just that? It'll be against Willie Abreu, who just hit the home run earlier. Then he sharply hits one to get off. So good job at least getting through the inning without allowing any runs. Miller will stay into the sixth. He has two down now for Tyler O'Neill, who hits this one deep to right field, and that one is going to clear the wall as well. The solo shot for Tyler O'Neill and the Red Sox, as that is O'Neill's eighth home run of the season, and the Red Sox will extend their lead. This one at nine to nothing, as yes, the A's can only watch on. Will bottom seven out. Here's Richie Beach, who struggled in his kind of debut season as he pops up into center field. Maybe a little too early for Veach in the majors. Shay Langoliers up next. Fastball right center Broadway. It's a deep to left center field, but that will be caught out there by Abreu. Two down now for Seth Brown. One, two pitch, and he's going to rip this one up the middle for a base hit. This is a big couple stretch of games for Seth Brown because I'm not sure if he's going to stick around next year the way he's been playing. Andujar will then draw a walk, so quickly two dawn now for the Athletics for the top of the lineup and Zach Geloff. A chance to get on the board here. He leads the team with 69 RBIs. He hits this one well to right field, but O'Neill is over and he'll make the grab. Yeah, he's getting nothing in the seventh. Going to the top of the eighth now, Zach Jackson will be tasked with getting the final out of the frame. As Jackson with nobody on 2-2 two -two, will strike out Kyle Teal and get his job done. We're going to the bottom of the eighth now. Giolito still on the mound trying to just get more innings with zeros on the board. He gets noted to fly out to begin the eighth. Next up, Jordan Diaz. 1-0 pitch, and he will rip this one over to the shortstop as this will be a tough play, and Diaz will leg it out. So nice hustle there by Jordan Diaz for an infield single. Tyler Soderstrom up next. Gets a fastball right down the middle, and he hits it high and deep to right center. But it not deep enough. A Brayu underneath it as quickly two down. Um, Frazier, his turn. First pitch. He's going to swing, and this one's going to get down for sure into the gap. And with two down, Diaz is going, and this will be the first run of the ball game for the Athletics, an RBI double for Frazier, who has been great since being claimed off waivers a couple months ago. That will also do it for Lucas Giolito. Michael Fulmer will be brought in. The former Chicago Cub will be trying to get the final out of the eighth inning. He'll have to do it against Richie Beach, and he will do just that. Grounder over to third. That will end the eighth, and with us being down by eight, nothing would happen in the ninth. So we'll just go to the end. The Red Sox win this one by a final score of a nine to one. Take game one of this three-game series here in Sacramento. Just that horrible six-run inning we gave up, man. It was just just fell apart, and we couldn't recover. And the Athletics will drop this one. It's been a bad September for the A's. Hopefully we can take the rest of the series. But player of the game will go to Tyler O'Neill. He went three for five, a home run, a double, and a single. Just a triple shy of the cycle. That's a good game also for Lucas Giolito. We get some good news on the injury front after this game. Nick Allen is finally healed, so he'll rejoin the team for the final month, week and a half. And we win game two, seven to six. Micah Bell gave up five earned and four innings pitched. Not a good look for one of our newer acquisitions. We're hoping he can turn around going into 2026. And to make room for Nick Allen, we're going to send Miguel and Duhar down to AAA. He's got to pass waivers first. I don't think anybody's going to claim on Duhar. So probably the last time we've seen him in an Athletics jersey. We didn't lose seven to six. Game three and 12 innings. Seth Brown hit two homers in this one. The pitching again lets us down. Butto goes four and a third. Second half of the episode, we'll travel to Seattle to face the 67 and 86 Seattle Mariners for a three game set here at T Mobile Park. The Mariners will be rocking their City Connect uniforms at home. Brian Wu on the mound for them. Last week actually made a start against the Athletics. He went five innings, three earned, and got the win. Mariners actually took three of four against us in Sacramento about a week ago. So hopefully we're trying to get back on the right page after that. As we'll start with the Zach Gellock ground out. Then we'll take a look at the A's lineup today. Normal starters back in the lineup. A little bit of a change though. Davidson up in the two slot today. Note at first, Soderstrom at left. 
Brown in center. Rui's dealing with a minor injury, so we'll see some Seth Brown today. Jordan Diaz down to the six spot. Frazier in seven. Rooker and then Langoliers. Here's Logan Davidson. He's had a pretty good first full season with the A's as he grounds out, though, to second base. And I bring up Ryan Noda up next, who gets a nice fastball to hit, but gets just underneath it and flies out to center. On the mound for the A's will be Robbie Francisco making his fourth start of the season. He's been very good. The third-round pick last year from San Diego University has been a very good addition to the rotation. He's proving that he deserves to have a good shot of staying in there going into next season. He'll start with Ahmed Rosario, and the former Diamondback will fly out to center field. And we'll take a look at this Mariners lineup. Different than the lineup we saw in the last outing. Cole Young now at second base today, followed by J.P. Crawford. Mitch Garver, Luke Rayley, Ty France, Mitch Hanniger in center, Matt Shaw at third base, and Dylan Moore in right. So remember, no Julio Rodriguez in the lineup out for the rest of the season with a fractured foot. Here is Cole Young up next as he pops this one up to center field, and the number 21 overall pick in 2022 will fly out to center. J.P. Crawford up next. Hits this one well into right, but not well enough as Rooker easily tracks it down. We're going to go all the way into the fifth now. It has been a pitcher's duel to this point. Robbie Francisco putting another gem of an outing under his belt. Sixth strike out of the day there. Brings up Mitch Haniger to the plate. Flew out back in the second. And he will rope this one deep to left field. Well, that one kind of died out in a hurry. I thought one actually had a chance to do a lot more damage than that. Quick two down. Matt Shaw will draw a walk. Fastball doesn't get the call. So that'll be the first walk of the day for Francisco. And that'll bring up Dylan Moore, who grounded out back in the third. Francisco trying to get five scoreless innings here. 3-1 to Moore. And he chops over to first. And Francisco will go five scoreless at frames. Great performance by him. Good top six, though. The only problem is, is the A's have not put any runs on the board either. As the sixth inning will start. But Shea Langleader's at least taking a ball off the shoulder blade. And then Zach Geloff will rope one into left field, and that's going to roll up against the wall. This could be some damage. Langleader's will hold up at third because there's nobody out. So two on in scoring position here for the A's. Best scoring opportunity today for the Athletics is Davidson with a good opportunity. We'll just pop this one up into foul territory. That'll be the first out of the inning. Note up next now, first pitch to him, and he will chop this one over to second, but they will score the first run. The Athletics finally strike first, took to the sixth inning, but it's a 1-0 lead. Soderstrom now trying to drive in the other run, gets a fastball right down the middle. Good timing, but he just pops it up. He might have missed that one by mere millimeters. So going to the sixth now, Mason Miller will take them out. Francisco actually in line for the win now, so hopefully we can get him that point. Miller will now start the sixth inning against Ahmed Rosario, who will pop this one up into right center, where it will be caught by Rooker. Both pitching staffs done a great job today. Cole Young now up next, 0-2, oh, and he can't connect on the slider. Nasty pitch there by Miller. So a quick two down now. J.P. Crawford, 2-2. Two, two. See you later. Inside fastball, 100 to get through the sixth. Zach Jackson will then come into relief later in this game. He's got one out to go here in the seventh inning, and he will get Mitch Hanniger to strike out. So a good inning there from the bullpen again. Going to the eighth inning now, we're trying to add at least another insurance run. Buck Farmer will take the mound for the Mariners as he'll start by striking out to Brent Rooker. They say he went around. How about Shea Langoliers? 0-2 pitch. He also goes around on the slider. Back-to-back -back K's via the slider from Farmer. Trying to finish off the inning here against Geloff and make it a 3-for-3. Three three. So, one nothing still as we go into the 8th inning. Now, John Brebia in relief. The closer for the season. But remember, we're switching him into the setup role because we want to give Tony Santiano a chance to close it down. So, the August AL Pitcher of the Month is now at the mound as he'll get Shaw to fly out to begin the 8th. Dylan Moore up next, 1-0, right back to Brebbia. Good glove there to stop it. That's the second out. Top of the lineup, Ahmed Rosario. Full counts, pops this one up over to first. And again, the pitchers have been on point this one. As we go into the ninth inning, they'll bring in Ryan Brucky, the former Pittsburgh Pirates, to make it through here. A lefty with a lot of lefties coming up to the plate. First batter, though, is the switch hitting Davidson, who will ground this one over to first, and that'll be a put out to the pitcher covering. Now to the lefties, Ryan Noda up next. First pitch to him, and he's going to hit this one into center field, but again, just dies out short. 
Second out now brings up Tyler Soderstrom. Also hit this on the day. Gets a full count pitch, and he will draw a walk. So he'll take first base, but I'll bring up Seth Brown, another lefty. 2-1, slider, good pitch to hit, but he doesn't get enough on it. So we only get one run through the first nine innings, but is that one run enough? Tony Santiano with a big chance to show that he could be the closer next season. He's two for six on the season in closing opportunities. That's not good, but this next week and a half will show if we have faith in him to be our closer going into next season. He'll start by flying out Cole Young to right. That's a good start. J.P. Crawford up next goes down the changeup. Big strikeout now because the game is up to Mitch Garver. The All-Star has given us a lot of troubles this season. 2-2 two, two pitch, and he can't connect on the slider. Santion gets through the inning, no problem. And the Athletics win this one by the very exciting score of 1-0. This one, a pitcher's duel at its finest. Only four combined hits from these two teams, two on either side. But a great outing by Robbie Francisco, who stays a perfect 3-0 on the season. He has to record a loss. Santion gets the ninth inning down to perfection. He gets his third save. And again, I like what we saw the pitching today. That's not something I've said very often today, but Robbie Francisco looks pretty phenomenal so far. I don't want to say he's locked into a rotation spot next season, but if he's playing like this, he might. Speaking of rotations, we're going to give Luis Medina a chance to show out in the last week of the season. He's not been good at the majors, but he's had a very good season at AAA. So I'm going to give him another shot going into maybe auditioning for next season we're gonna send down kyle freeland to make room it's just it's not worked out for him so he's just gonna spend the rest of the season in triple a we lose game two those six to two a pair of three spots for the mariners wade miley not a good start for him he's kind of run out of the gas soars the end of this season and unfortunately speaking of the minors both minor league teams do not make it the aviators go 69 and 81 and the rock counts 34 and 35 so no major league playoffs Game three, win five to one. So we take the series against Seattle, get a little bit of revenge. Homers from Noda, Geloff, and Rooker, and a good performance by Paul Blackburn and Joe Barlow gets the win in game three. So that means next episode will be the final regular season episode. We'll have three games on the road against Texas for three at home against the Angels to wrap up year number two. It's been a long time coming, but we're almost to the end of year number two. I cannot wait. We'll see Mick Abel one more time on the mound. Hopefully he can end his season on a strong note. But thank you guys so much for watching. Another offseason is almost here, but I cannot wait. we got to go through one more week. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.